Hello everyone, Dada here, and we're back with our, our, mine, well I'm back anyways, with the first impression series I've been doing. They were playing Eldritch. Um, this game is listed on the store as an Imsim, roguelike, inspired by Lovecraft, Imsim, uh, immersion simulator. Um, <clears throat> it's got a very, uh, blocky style that's reminiscent of other games you'll see in a moment and it's another roguelike because <laughs> of course it is uh for those who don't know the way i've been picking the games for this first impression series i've just uh, steam has a built-in like hey you play this game next you haven't played it yet on the on the library page and i've just been going through those and uh i guess since i've been fucking playing so many uh roguelikes just this is a lot of roguelikes that the the the, the to, to go through I have so it's just like keep keep playing them you love them apparently but it's not paying attention that I'm only putting like an hour into each of them you know I have like a couple that I have you know hundreds of hours in but just those couple anyway so let's click play and see what happens oh we're right into it okay also the sensitivity is sensitive the sensitivity is sensitive let's go down that much okay world the library gear and souls i don't know this, this is still pretty sensitive but we'll go with it oh so right click right click does nothing left click is punch desk lamp turn it on okay let's read a book the elder ridge get it elder ridge instead of eldritch i get it uh borrow ledger J.K. Pippin, Kim Putnam, Ken Thudson, Esquire, Kynan Wales, F.B. Ganner, and Stuart Jameson. Wait, what's the dates? 26. Peter Boards. Oh, is this like backers or something? Mirror. Let's examine this mirror. Oh, is that me? Is that me? I can be whomever I want, finally. I'm just, I've always wanted to be someone else. That's what we'll be. Yeah, let's not waste electricity, guys. Oh, E and Q are leaning. Alrighty, another book on the floor. Explorer's Journal, page two. This library seems to go on forever. I am no longer certain that there is a way out. It feels as if I am somehow reliving the same experiences day after day endlessly. You're in a roguelike, buddy. If I am to find an exit from this madness, I believe it will be through those obscene glowing books. There is unimaginable power in those pages and unspeakable horror. It seems that the spirits of ancient deities lie dormant within the books, though I know not for what reason. But their collected power must be the key to my incarceration in this labyrinth. It's page two. All right, I'm actually going to turn that down some more. Jesus. Is there music? No, not according to the OBS readout. All right, so those are the books. Probably I need to go. Oh, shift is run. Pedestal, pedestal, pedestal. Pedestal has a shallow indentation engraved with a strange pattern. It looks like a spherical object. Could be placed here. Some sort of progress thing, and then door opens. All right. Got a chest here, bank chest. You can deposit your artifacts in bank chests for safekeeping. Artifacts you deposit here can be withdrawn later at this or any other chest. When you die, your possessions will be lost, but the artifacts stored in the bank will remain. I have nothing to give. Okay. Oh, a big hunk of ham? Fuck yeah, oh, food. Eating food will restore some of your health, but be careful. Eating spoiled or poisonous food may harm you instead. Ooh, yeah. Drink, get a bottle. Press left mouse to throw a punch, hurl a projectile, or fire a weapon. Fire a weapon. Press Z to drop the object in your right hand. You can carry two weapons or objects at a time. Press X or mouse up down to swap between them. Cool, Z drops. Ooh. And it breaks when you throw it. Makes sense. Well, let's pick up a bottle and might need it. Can I go up this ladder? I can't. All right. Let's go back down. 
It's a very Half-Life feeling letter. All right, this book ass is glowing. Wait, these are the books he's probably talking about. More books. The History of the Library, Volume 2 of 4. Actually, gonna close. Is there a 1 of 4? This is also 2 of 4. Strange. This is big wall. Is this a... Suspicious. Oh, and there's an up there. Alright. Open book that's glowing. Strange book. This book is written in a language you do not recognize. As you peer at the strange glyphs, they seem to lift off the pages and take on the bizarre and unearthly forms of the worlds and creatures they describe. The words encircle you, blotting out the library and filling your mind with the unbearable buzzing of a pre-human language. Shaken, you try to close the book, but find yourself transported to the alien world described in its pages. Well, there we go. Oh, and I can just go back to the library. Cool. Yeah, we in a boat. I hear something moving. That's not good. Pick up this compass. Gear. Gear is wearable equipment that improves your abilities or unlocks new skills. Gear comes in three categories. Boots, kits, and gadgets. You can carry one piece of gear of each category. Compass. Simple magnetic compass. Carrying a compass reveals key locations on your minimap. Compass also points to the exit of the current level. Thanks. Oh, hello. Wait, I need to read this book. Explorer's Journal, page one. Something. Excuse me, let me. A little bit of water if I'm doing all this reading. Okay. Something quite peculiar has happened to me. I feel the need to record this in the event that I should not return. The last thing I recall, I was examining that curious book in the library. And now I have found myself in a dangerous world full of lurking monsters and treacherous traps. If my research is correct, then I am in a lost temple to the ancient god of Dagon. A powerful relic is rumored to be kept in the depths of this world. Perhaps it holds the key to my escape. It, whoa, what? Whoa, hey, stop, stop with the fireballs, bro. Bro. Fuck you. Oh! Oh, I can jump, by the way. There's another one. That, like, super killed him. Is there headshots, or is it just, like, a one-hit kill thing? I have three hit points, I remember. Search corpses for ammo, artifacts, or other items. After being looted, the enemy may respawn somewhere in level. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I got three blue things. Fuck you. How is your AI? I can't crouch, or if it's... Oh, I can't crouch. It's C, not control. Ooh, beat the shit out of you. I got two bullets. That's the agu. That's thanks to the compass. Oh, there's a minimap upstairs that I'm not looking at. Lock door. Okay. Alright, I'm liking this so far. This game had... I can hear someone through the doors. Through the walls. The walls are not very flat. I don't know how that's going to pick up on camera. On uh, the recording. What's into this suspiciously separated door? It is a bottle. A rock. I got a bottle rock to throw. I don't need to eat the meat. And an artifact. These extraterrestrial stone carvings are your main resource in this world. You can purchase goods with them or spend them to activate special powers and tools. Cool. Is that the blue? That's the blue. I had three, now I have four. Okay. That makes sense. They're blue. So, um, this game had an amazing little trailer on Steam. That's, that's the real reason why I'm playing it. I saw it listed, or saw it recommended, and then I was like, I'm gonna go take a look. So he's back alive. Fuck you. And he has more loot. Interesting. Whoa! Oh, rocks come back. I like that. Give me. Give me two bullets. Just levels below us. So the enemies respawn. But it's like the same enemy because the corpse is gone. That is an interesting take. On uh, enemies in a roguelike. I kind of like that. There's two artifacts of it. Can I just grab one? No, it's more than two artifacts. I did. That was six artifacts, it looks like. That was one. Okay. So 
a weird noise, very low. I don't know if you can hear it. He's gone already. They respawn quickly, huh? Locked door. With a different looking area? Hmm. Oh. Spiky G's. Let's get away from those. And we get, can we make this jump? We can. Eh, that's not there probably. What the heck is this? It's glowing. Shrouded statue. F to pray. Statues. These enormous stone idols depict some of sort of terrible creature never seen on earth. Praying at the statue imbues you with a special power from the old ones. Cloak power. Press right click to cloak yourself. While you are cloaked, enemies cannot see you. The effect wears off after a short time. Be careful. Enemies can still hear you while you are cloaked. Cause 10 to cloak. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So it's a shrouded statue. So that's why it's shrouded. So it tells you what it is. I wonder if that's always going to be what it is, a shrouded statue. Oh, whoa, what the? Uh, stop that. I, that went over his head. Like most things with me. Un wait. Yeah, like most things with me. It went over his head. Let's go down. There is stuff down there. is an empty room or a separate room yeah i hope uh there's different statues that do different things reminds me of diablo one of the my favorite things about diablo i guess one and two i don't remember if they were in diablo three. Oh, he so i do make noise now that he's locked onto me can i still sneak around I think so, he just lost following. Interesting. Okay, so I'm liking this so far. There's a lot more to this than I thought. See, look, he doesn't know me now. And now he's dead. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking this system. I'm liking this game. Let's go down here. There's another statue. This, is there a way to bring up the map? No, I don't think so. It's a uh, fruit. I gained one heart, so I was already max hearts. Can't go over there. Something on the ground there. Cannot get to the stage. Wait. Is it there crouch jump? It is crouch jump. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. If I'm gonna get stuck in here, aren't I? Oh, if I go down here, is there a way up? Doesn't necessarily look like a way up, so I don't know if I want to drop down there. You stay there, statue. I'll be back. That's a piece of dynamite it looks like up top there. Is this a knife? Ooh, a knife. That's how you use a knife, I guess. Let us go get that dynamite. And then there's some goodies down there. I'm feel oh, and two guns. All right, well, let's keep the dagger. Get rid of the rock. It's been a useful tool, but let's get rid of it. All right, artifacts. This take up a spot. This does take up a spot. Can I blow up? Shit, let's find out. Ah! Fix that problem. All right. Now, if I pick this up, does it give me ammo? It does. That's what you do with bullets. Okay. I'm liking this a lot so far. Let us go and see what this statue has to say. It is a resonance statue. Knock power. Press right click to cast knock. Aim at a locked door. Oh, that's... Fuck me. At a locked door to unlock it. Or aim at any other surface to create a noise to distract patrolling enemies. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, easy peasy. All right. There were a lot of goodies down here, weren't there? There they are. Oh, I've been this way, I believe. No, I haven't. I haven't gone up. How could I have been this way? Oh, these fish people. Did he walk through the spikes? I want to know if they get hurt by spikes. 
found it or something there. Might as well use my advantage, huh? Oh. Okay, so shots aren't insta-kill. Yeah, okay, they can't hurt each other, so that's good to know. Get this back, thank you. Alright, your bullets, give me that. Give me, give me that. Alright, what's up with this fountain? Fountains. Quaffing from a fountain will restore some of your health and extend your maximum health. Fountains dry up after being used once. That's useful. More max health is useful. Couple more coins. And this is a corpse. Oh, is that what's buzzing? Like a... Yeah. Okay, I guess that confirms that spikes do kill people. But he didn't respawn, he's just there. Hmm. Oh, a key. Keys are used to unlock doors. Each key can only be used once. How very Zelda of you. Alright, let's start making our way towards the exit. Not that, like, in a roguelike, you'd probably want to, you know, like, explore every nook and cranny you can. But I want to advance a little bit in this video. Yeah, you... Oh, wait. There's a weird, like, tilt... Oh yeah, I forgot there is a tilt here. When you run, jump. Run and crouch jump. Oh, fucking crouch jumping. Has anyone tried doing that in real life? Does it work? Video games use it a lot, but I'm like, I don't think that works like that. As far as I can tell, there's just no way that direction. From here... I'm supposed to go up a little bit. Okay. Opens. Oh, why am I not picking up the gun? It's got ammo in it. Ooh, what's this? Mm, back here. Thank you. Oh, he had a key on. That seems quite useful for a person to have. But I can't... Can... Wait... Why can I, like, almost... Oh! Interesting, we learned that there is a kind of jump. Or kind of ledge grab thing. Right. I don't think there is headshot damage. Why does a bottle or anything over there? No. Is this just above where we were? Yeah, it's just above where we were. Cool. Let's try stabbing the guy. <laughs> Stealth from above. Um, guess I'm gonna have to go up and over some other direction, huh? The fact that nothing has told you about this ledge grabbing is interesting. Oh. Fuck you. Trying to corner camp me, asshole. That's what you get. You get the knife. Alright. Uh, am I in some weird... No, I'm not. Hello. Fishy. Fish people. Guess we're going back. Down. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. We figured it out. Look at us. All right, exit. Okay. We just... Oh, I can go back up. Interesting. My compass no longer reports the direction to go, unfortunately. Oh, that's that little beetle thing. Two of them. Oh, that killed both of them. And he had a key on him. Hmm. 
some shit glowing over there. Come on, fish boy. Yeah, the trailer for this on Steam was great. It's like, uh, punch a fish person in the face. Escape the mountains of madness. Summon a Shoggoth. He's not friendly. It was funny. Anyways, you had to be there. I kind of like Nock. And it's the cloak one again. I'm assuming if they stay the power they are. Oh, I didn't actually mean to use a key there, but we did. That's fine. A lot of meat. I'm doing so far so fine, not hurting myself. Secrets. Oh, what's that? A shop? Let's go down the way they probably want us to go. Control. Hello, are you the shop? Are you the shop man? You are the shop man. The fish man smiles weepily at you. Welcome, stranger. Please buy something. Glup, glup. I have so many good things in my glup. All right. I do still have my compass. But it doesn't show the way to exit. Does it? Oh, it does. It's over there. Why didn't I see that before? Okay, we got meat, meat, coin, coin, compass, conjurer's talisman, smelting kit, stealth boots. Stealth boots sound useful. Let us conjure talisman. Is it a weapon? Each shop has a selection of valuable gear available for purchase. If you cannot afford the price, you can try to steal it. But you will make the shopkeeper angry. Oh, he wants 25 artifacts. Conjurer's Talisman. Reduces the artifact cost to use special powers. Oh, that's that's just that's just an investment. Yeah. Is that a gear item? It's a soul item? Maybe it's round. Let's find out. Buy it. A conjurer's talisman. A small stone emblazoned with a blue vortex. Carrying this talisman decreases the number of artifacts it costs to use your special powers. Oh, it takes the place of my compass. That's not as good as I thought it would be. Okay, so this takes the gear and... Okay, I see. I see it's a gear spot. Okay, well... Oh, well, we know it's that direction. Smelting kit and boots. Let you convert artifacts into bullets when picking them up. No, we're good. And then stealth boots just sound good in general, don't they? Why? A modest pair of boots with padded soles. Wearing these boots silences your footsteps. All right. Let us go that direction. Maybe that's not a buzzing noise, it's just an ambient noise. I thought it was like a buzzing insect or something. Glup, glup. Get glupped, motherfuck. Gonna stab some people in the back. There's a coin and a bottle. Thank you, thank you. Give me. And some meat. And some dynamite. I don't mind. Ooh. Who are you? You're the springy statue. I'm guessing that's going to give me a better jump. No, I mean, if it costs me... No, I'm going to keep... My unlock a, my, my unlock a door. Oh, that's creepy. The creepy eye. Oh, 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 he hit, I got hit, finally. Hit twice. Alright, before we drop down. I've already lost the direction I was going in, so fuck me. Should have kept that compass. That's a new area, let's go. Ooh, a snake. A creepy snack. A creepy horror snack. Yeah, meat. Yes. That's what I want. That's what I need. 
I need some meat in my mouth right away. Oh, they can use doors. We learned that. Fun. Roots will leave for fun. But without the compass, I'm going to be fucking lost. But I want you to know, I'm liking this right now. I'm liking it a bit. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the, like, world floor in it. Now the question is, can I touch it? It does look kind of otherworldly. Let's go up quick. Let's just avoid it, just in case. It's like the void in Teleglitch that just kills you. I've been playing that game, you know? I did that video, I like it. It is not easy, though. I haven't gotten past the fourth level or something like that. Fifth level, I think. Oh, that eyeball's back. So, gun on the eyeballs. That was locked. We need to not just... Ooh, a flintlock. Unlock more powerful than a revolver? Let's find out. Well, I killed him in one shot. Fishman, fishman, I hear the fishman. They don't seem to throw anything, so they just probably run at you. Damage by contact. Oh, I've been here, fuck. Alright. I kill him in one shot too, so yeah, I'm guessing this does more damage. What happens if I touch this? Let's find out. Okay, I don't die. Good to know. Wait, this is like... How would I know this was here? Because this was a wall, wasn't it? Hmm. Alright, I guess we're going back up. Oh, well, there's no fall damage for, like... Six or seven blocks high. Oh, there's a lot of fruit here. There's a lot of trees anyway. There's no fruit on them. You know, I'm really liking this game. But not knowing where the exit is is annoying. Ooh, let's open that shit up. What do we have? We got a we got a cash box. Oh yeah, oh yeah, give me these artifacts, baby. Oh yeah, I've been here before. That's that. Uh, blow him up, please. Did not blow him up. I'll be right back with my gun. Where you go? Fuck you. In the eye. Keep hitting reload. Ah, oh, crap, I wasn't looking again. I mean, I can't open it. It's locked, that's why I can't open it up. Okay. Fishy boy. Oh. That didn't hurt him. Just walked right through that. Doesn't know I'm here. Boop. Let us. Oh, fuck. It doesn't look like there's much drop off or anything. Ooh, another gr grenade. Snake. Kind of looks like Ekans, but not purple. Oh, oh, I'm trying to pick up my 
knife back up. This is all void except this. Interesting that they put just stuff in the walls. There would be no way to know this was here before. Hmm. I appreciate that. Guessing there's some, you know, it's R and um, R and G. Uh, it's uh, you know, procedural in some fashion. Guessing. So it could just be, you know, accidental shit in walls, or it could actually be on purpose. Oh, fuck. Eat that. Eat that shit. Get me my knife back. You ever... Oh, is this the exit? Cool. We found the exit after all. I was just about to give up. Not gonna lie. Oh, we've been here too. Oh, ew. I didn't notice it. Ew, I'm bad. Alright, another level down. This will be the last level I show in the video. Because I think after 30 minutes, you've got the gist of what this kind of game this game is. I just wanted to see maybe a little bit more progression, a boss or something. Hopefully we'll get that. I'm also looking for some harder enemies. Far nothing here is scary. I mean, they're just, like creepy looking, but not scary in terms of difficulty. Do I have to kill these peeps? I'll leave them alone. Ooh, bank chest. That's interesting. So, fuck it, let's put 50 in. Eh, fuck it, let's put. 61 in. Oh. Man, this unlock spell is fucking great. Okay. Get up. You know? I'm liking it. Four bullets. Okay. We're going to leave 12 on me. Right, that's what we're going to do. We're unlocking shit. Alright. Heard a guy walking this way. Did he come up steps? Yeah, they can... I haven't seen any other ones move up steps yet, so... There's no reason not to assume they can. Could have. But you gotta learn the rules of the game by playing it. Much like life. Oh, well, we learned that there is fall damage. Alright. Learned that there is fall damage. The thing did say devious traps. We haven't really seen any devious traps yet. There are increasing the number of monsters. Boond is very action man style, just running around, but you don't need to. Looking for some fruit now. Is it a fountain? I hear a bubbly. Fountains are cool. I would like a... I know this game has been around for a while now, and they, they sure as shit ain't changing anything now on account of little old me. But I would like ability to pull ammo out of shit on the ground. You know what I mean? Just to uh, save me from having to pick up the gun twice. What is this temple? 
something up there. Ooh, is this the end? Is this, what does that say? Soul of Dagon. Yeah, I guess this is the end. Strange book. Oh, that. Uh, uh, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking, are you fucking kidding me? The soul of Dagon, and we fucking just missed it. Oh, the exit is down. Fuck. Can't believe what happened. And I just took some damage. No, I didn't take any damage. Let us try and rush back there. I think it's through this wall. Fuck. That heavy sigh. I can't believe I did that. Okay, so my big problem with this game so far is my inability to fucking look at the things before I press the button. Alright. Now let's get going. Back to this shit. Where was it? Down here. Control is over there. Meat, though. Um. Is it over here? There it is. Okay. Fuck me. Uh, right, where was it? Doors reset on a level load? It does appear that way. Oh, he dead. Oh, he dead. It's all new area. I haven't I already did this. Ooh, bunch of coins. Thank you very much. We need to go down over here. Cash box. Where is down? Down is here. Hello. Fucking screaming ass fucking snakes, man. All right, have I not explored this level? Oh, I think I might've just gone. Yeah, I fell, I went straight down. That's what happened. Oh, whoa. Let's not risk dying when we have the soul of Dagon within reach. All right, we made it back here, Jesus. Give it to me. All right, a little bit of water. <clears throat> You clutch the strange blue orb. It hums in response to your touch and vibrates as if trying to shake itself free. As your fingers tighten around it, you are struck with a sudden and unbidden insight that within this unearthly sphere, the soul of the ancient deity Dagon is beginning to wake. A vision drifts through your mind like a long forgotten memory of mortal fear unchecked destruction and then a clandestine ritual and uneasy peace the vision fades giving way to a sick feeling of emptiness the soul of dagon stirs in the silence you can now unlock the next book in the library and we got an achievement it says it's gross it's all wet let's get the fuck out of here hey we're back here this is the bank chest let's Bank some bank. Interesting. So do I just examine this? This book is bound by an unseen force. An inscription on it. Cover reads. This place is not a place of honor. A terrible power is contained within this volume. It has been sealed by the soul of Narlathop. 
Narlathothep. Narlathothep. And only by the soul of Narlathothep. Narlathothep. Hi. Probably butchering that pronunciation. My apologies. Maybe I'll. Narlathothep. Lathothep. Oh, I need to put this on a pedestal, probably. Pedestal soul. Nice. We did it. Now does the shit open up? You raise the soul of Dagon before the sealed book. The sphere pushes against your fingers, palpably struggling to reach the leathery surface. A distant wind begins to howl as the encapsulated soul rages in your hand. As Dagon's fury intensifies, the force holding the book falters. A deafening crack splits the room as the seal is broken, and the soul of Dagon becomes still and silent once again. The book falls open, revealing dusty pages covered in eldritch glyphs. A nameless dread fills you. The next world awaits. You have unlocked the book to the next world. Books will remain unlocked even after you die and resurrect. Interesting. Let's see what's up here real quick. Oh, there's more books and shit and fruit. Is it going to be more like backer names? Oh, no, it's more history stuff. All right, I'm going to read all that shit on my time, though. All right, let's go back down carefully. Let's take a look at the new world real quick and the first enemy we see. Okay. Music's quite low, I just noticed. You're probably not hearing anything. Could use a little bit louder. Oh, it's a lizard man. And a stone. Lizard man. Oh, okay. You can't stealth him for one hit. Good to know. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Back to the library. Alright. Oh, that's Eldritch, everyone. I think you probably got an idea of the game by now. If you like it, pick it up. It's a little indie game. It's fun. I'm liking it so far. This one I'm going to keep installed and play some more on my own time. That's the best endorsement I think I can give it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon.